Welcome back to... Yeah, well, okay. For the purpose of sounding I'm more positive, yeah, we're about to get into what is, in my opinion, the best part of the game. So... The ending? Well... <laughs> no, this Actually, the no, ending no, of this game. The ending of this game sucks major balls. No, I so no, it means it'll be over. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's the happened. thing. Here's the thing. The ending is arguably the worst thing for a lot of people regarding this game. Is it Joe? What event was? Well, she already just said because we'll be over. Yeah, over. we'll get we'll get to that. But first, let's. That um... said, it's gonna hurt. It, I, I'm just gonna warn you. It's gonna hurt worse than a visit to the dentist. I wouldn't go that well, far, I mean, but going to the dentist could be very beneficial. I mentally, go... I mean, I mean mentally, obviously not literally. I still wouldn't go that far, but sure. I'll persist to benefit. Blah, blah blah. Okay, stock Abbott set list. Settle for less. Who can say? Once more into the breach. Hide out, running towards my blah blah blah. blah. Okay, moving on. Like at least with the dentist, you get the semblance that hey, it's for the greater good. You know, you'll feel better overall, teeth wise, for it. The ending Arm of this strong, game, not yeah. so much. So what, Lance Arms? So so what is this? Uh, what Armstrong are they talking about, Lance? Uh, no, that that we will probably most likely. Well, yeah, probably most likely. Yeah, considering hey, this he is... could he could tell he could tell them where to get um, the best drugs for numbing pain. I have to say, Ellie's been having quite a knack for finding guitars just laying around conveniently enough. It's because they're using the guitar as Ellie's... To trigger a memory, yeah. yeah. They're using the guitar as the the, fi the the one physical connection she still has to Joel. So. I have to imagine the script. And then the guitar appears before Ellie, triggering yet another memory. I thought the guitar was going to be how you saved the game. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice element, but because it appears so much throughout the game, it kind of borders on getting a bit ham-fisted, I would say. Especially when it becomes obvious what they're building up to in... the ending. We'll get to it. This is the story of how I, of how I beloved studio shit the bed. Exactly. Pretty much. Mind, it's not like they haven't made mistakes before, but still. This was their crowning mistake. Let's call it a mistake, to be kind. Alright, and now let's take our first flashback sequence, because it's the end of the first day. So, I'm, I'm guessing we're supposed to assume that Ellie's dreaming this while she sleeps? I don't know. So yeah, three years, oh, no. three years earlier. This is a year after the end of the first game. Now, I'm just going to get my negative out of the way here. As much as I do like this scene, it's kind of a big-lipped alligator in that it doesn't really do anything to really contribute to the plot overall. It just no. feels like it was put in there to throw a bone to people who liked Joel. Either that or, I don't know, to, to me it kind of feels like, oh, okay, so we got Troy and Baker. He, and even then there's a major problem with it. Too, I'm gonna start guessing. It feels like to me, um, it, it feels like to me that they that they, they realize, oh crap, we got Troy Baker hey, here, but we, killed off, but we killed off his Look at Ellie's facial animations. animations. No, there aren't, there, I know there aren't any. No, no, hold on. But anyway, I was asking. No, no, actually there are, but hold on, listen. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> is it a puppy? Is it a lot of kittens? Give me a litter. What's a litter? A bunch of kittens. <laughs> Why wouldn't you call it just a bunch of kittens? I don't know what. It's called a litter. It's so dumb. <laughs> it is a bit dumb, actually. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, can I continue? Go ahead. As I was, as I was going to say, um. It feels like they it's like oh we got Troy Baker here, but crap we killed his character two hours in. Um, yeah, we'll just put some stuff in the game so we can at least get our bodies worth from the guy. Yeah, maybe it was part of an original draft. Hmm. What do you think, Shirai? My my guess Hi. is my guess is its main purpose of the story is to properly demonstrate how Elia. Uh, like again, it's it's like again, like the primary idea is that we're supposed to feel this what Ellie is feeling, and it's in the same way that we miss Joel, she misses Joel, and therefore these much like she's remembering 
uh, the good old days. We're remembering the good old days. I'm, I get what they're going for. It's just that it, the meta-ness of, of the narrative it, 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 it goes too far. It does. Like I said, it's kind of a big lipped alligator and like, well, sure, we get snippets, but it never seems to contribute to the overall narrative, though, because, you know, well, her remembering Joel kind of comes sporadically. Yeah. By the second half of this game will be only really for that one segment. Anyway, Shuri, uh, your thoughts on the situation you were about to say? I mean, what Pedro said, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Cause... We know from Neil that he, Joel was um, supposed to die anyway. So, yeah, pretty much what Pedro said. We're, we're supposed to feel what Ellie's feeling. That's remind me. Really. Was it confirmed that Joel was going to die in that situation where you know, <laughs> at the very least, Abby uh, gets to know him I before believe, killing him? Well, I think, uh, Pedro, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you, because there is a video clip, I think you said that Neil said she was going to hesitate, but she was still going to kill him. Uh, who? Abby. No, I don't remember. No, in the with the original idea of bringing her into oh, no, the settlement. Oh, no, the original idea, yeah, into the settlement, yeah. yeah. Well, we don't know exactly. Yeah, he was still supposed to die, even. She was going to feel conflicted. She was going to feel conflicted, but we, but Neil never went into detail of how it would end up. Uh, oh, okay. But yeah, in the meantime, uh, yeah, oh, as you can okay. see, as you can see, Joel taught Ellie how to swim. So there you go. No more. No, no, by, by pushing her in. So no. So no more. So no more moments where we have to carry Allie uh, through wood, for the for the water bits. Thank God. And he taught her how to swim with a heavy book bag on. Trust me, those things weigh a lot more in the water. The sad, the interesting thing is that it's not even just the fact that we're back at with the, the 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 relationship that we actually give a crap about. The writing in the in these bits are is significantly better than the writing in the rest of the game. It's like it, it, it's literally like a a piece from a different game, which really makes it all the more irking when they dare to try and make a copy of this relationship with a certain other pair. Yeah, but I won't get into that yet. Yeah, we'll get to that. Did someone clone Neil Druckmann or something? But something went wrong in the cloning process, and one of them writes like shit. Well, more, well, there's a no. That would be a perfect addition to the Clone Saga. So sure, why not? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, maybe that's what happened. We have um, uh, someone from the from the superhero universe of the trading cards we've been seeing. Is one of them is the jackal of that universe, and he's been creating clones. So maybe that's it. So. So basically, the trading cards are the real Druckmann's way of trying to tell us that he's locked up somewhere while his evil clone goes out and ruins his reputation. Sure. Yeah, I mean that that, that can explain um, that can explain a lot of things. I mean, it can explain Kingsman: The Golden Circle for one. <laughs> But yeah, as Pedro mentioned, here the game takes quite an upswing. It's because like, this is this, this feels a lot like a bit that we would see for the first game, you know, like and it's it, it's the it's the relationship that we actually give a crap about, and uh, the, the the dialogue in general feels much feels much uh, more uh, feels much better here. Like, there it goes. So, so, look, look at look at that. For example, here's one thing that Ellie does that none of the other characters, even including her older self, has a personality. Yeah, that's another thing also. They remember to mix, you know, slightly upbeat stuff with the serious world here and there. Now, look, I'm not saying that stuff has to be all sunshine and rainbows. And I get it. Maybe they wanted to make the sequel. Oh, look at that. Darker. It is a dinosaur. <laughs> uh, check, check out Ellie's special expressions here. She looks so happy. Mm, that's the thing, Joe. I feel like the... Uh, and and her like expression is... Yeah, it and her expression is not changing one iota now. Like it, she's a mannequin. I don't understand what happened. Uh, like uh, because most of this game's facial animations are perfectly fine, but for some reason something wrong happened with Young Ellie's facial animations. Did they do these ones last or something? I don't know. What I wouldn't give for there to be an ending where a Tyrannosaurus Rex comes in and saves the day. All right, so let's see what Ellie was writing on her journal back in the day. She drew some deer. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, what else? Um, oh, I guess... Farming, farming rotation blows. I don't get what... Oh, hold on. 
Yeah, Tommy and Joel. I'm going to get why people ask for this assignment. Note to self, talk to Maria about how early I can sign up for patrol training. Dina and I found this cool old campground today. She said kids used to go up there in the summers for fun. We found all these art supplies. She cut colored paper and made some crowns for us while it ran outside. It was a good day. So there you go. See, even well, back in these days. I knew Dina back then. Yeah, yeah we already established. Yeah, they, they go back all these four years. So yeah, like, uh, again, I just wish you could have actually seen some of this shit. Whatever. Yeah, the fact um, that you've been a new... Yes, yeah, uh, go, sorry. Joe said he's taking me on a camping trip next week for my birthday, which is this one. He found something he said I'll love. He's actually very proud of himself. Smug old foggy. Cat sat next to me at movie night. Our elbows kept touching. I think she was doing it on purpose. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably not. Dina made me a crown for my birthday. She went back to that camp and then got all this paper. It's pretty great. That's nice of you, Dina. This adds nothing to their relationship, by the way. No, no, it's not so like, much. No, it, it could. It could if we actually saw it. <laughs> you know. Well, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, okay. I okay, gotta... okay. Forget us just seeing rather than telling. Even with what they tell us, it's so bare bones. Like, oh, Dina was here. Dina did this. Dina did that. Dina was alive. That totally counts for something, right? Like, it's not even a good detail. Go on, Dwibs. Uh, Pedro, um, is there a flashback at some point in this game that kind of um, that, that that doesn't that doesn't add up with the rest of the game? Uh, Plot wise, I mean, I I mean I don't think so. I mean I I think I, I mean the problem with the flashbacks is not that I can tell you that. Maybe oh God, Ellie, that is so dangerous. Oh God, I mean for a second there, I thought it was going to have the same problems. Um, with something else actually Johnson was in recess all grow down oh no no. no 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 they don't they, they, no they don't do any of that stuff no no don't, don't, don't worry they, not that I not that I noticed at least recess um, all grown down was it's a it's a it's a bad recess movie it's a bad recess movie where apparently joe uh, uh, apparently joe and paul forgot their own story basically and anyway Wait, okay, okay okay i've heard of recess schools out but i've never heard of recess all grown dead. well trust me you're better off yeah i mean i mean taking the fifth grade was fine it was just no no, no, down. no taking the fifth grade was fine um, anyway, yeah. So yeah, one co another cool thing. Again, this is yet another bit that feels very Last of Us One ish. We, uh, look at that. Uh, uh, we found Alan. This series is also kind of a little love letter to to the first Jurassic Park movie. And let's just say, guys, pay attention because there's going to be a comment from Joel that's gonna feel very ironic and not in a bad, not in a good way. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just saying they start with a T Rex. How the hell are you gonna top that? I, I, I like this one though. Yeah, uh, turns out Veloci after Jurassic Park 1, we found out that Velociraptors were actually very tiny. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least that's what they call them in this movie outside. Hmm. <laughs> and you opened up with a T Rex. How are you going to top that? That's literally the king of all the dinos. All right. Uh, in fact, yeah, dinos speaking of dinosaurs, I got a question for Jova. What? Um,. I'm assuming you've seen the uh, spoilers, right? Of what? This game. Uh, this, this game. Yes. All right. I won't. I won't ask about spoilers <laughs> specifically, but on the subject of dinosaurs, um, um, would you say this was, you know, in terms of bad sequels? Oh, uh, would you say was... this was? Would you say this, this was better or worse than Fallen Kingdom? Uh, uh, it's a I'm very. Not, it's I'm, a different. I'm, I'm, it's hold a different on, hold on. Let me answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. Worse, it's worse. No, it is. Um, <laughs> However, they're very right. different sequels, okay, though. Okay, okay, okay. I'll say this. You want to compare Hold on, this Job, to I'm Jurassic... gonna have to interrupt you because this is the bit that I want you guys to pay attention to. You might remember how there was a lot of them in the sequ in Lost World. Oh, there you go, Hero. I know, right? Yeah. I know, I know, I know, right? You see, you see, Neil. When you you say that, but you just made a shitty sequel. So, <laughs> irony. Yeah, it's like it's like it's kind of like X Men Apocalypse, and that that kind of fell into that trap as well. But uh, yeah, the um, third anyway, movie you were saying? Also... Go ahead. You want to compare this to a Jurassic Park sequel? Compare this to Jurassic Park Three. It hits all the beats. 
absolutely terrible sequel. And hey, you know the T-Rex. Let's have him be killed off early in the movie by the Spinosaurus and have the Spinosaurus be the new hero. Kind of what happens in this game. Well, villain, but... But yeah, as Joel said, this is now a thing. A ha- hats on. Uh, ha- let's put a, our Alan Grant hair a hat in um, on all the dinosaurs. Even though technically that's like a Alan's a hat. Alan. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, good old Stegosaurus. Yeah. Yeah, that's about that scene we just saw earlier. Uh, you have to be really careful when you do, when you say, oh, sequels are, mm. no, the sequel wasn't as good. Because if your sequel doesn't turn out to be good, then, well, uh, I can't think of the right name for it. Again, look at this. I mean, even though it's not as action packed, this chapter is already more fun than most chapters in this game. And we haven't even really done any action-oriented action in this one. <laughs> what is this movie, and when can we see it? Uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, but does copyright allow us to state it? We well, remember that Sally never saw it. Game. So. Uh, um, well, I mean, uh... Well, actually, yeah, Sony owns a rival movie studio to Universal, so... <laughs> you, see, you, you see, Shiro, there was this sequel. wasn't as good. So... <laughs> you, know, you know, actually, you know what? Um, if, I ever, if I ever play a game that's a bad sequel to another one, I'm going to use that clip and uh, put it at the start of the playthrough. Again, there that's this game Hat. in... Ge- oh, wow. She really likes putting her hat on skeletons. <laughs> Cute. I uh, love this one. Uh, if we, if we, uh, now we can put it on Joel. Hey. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, my birthday. Damn, Nathan Drake really let himself go. Honestly, he looks like he's so, so, the, so, the, so there you go, Joel. Now you have to keep the hat. <laughs> you know, he looks a bit like Indiana Jones. <laughs> hey, just because he's short doesn't mean. Huh. In fact, being short can be an advantage to a predator. In some cases, yeah. He could be faster. Hmm. Alright, let's see what we find here. Ooh, a trading card. Let's see. Nighthawk. Cute. Oh. Oh yeah, that's that is so Nightwing. Yeah. Seems like they were popular. Like Sarah was in the What? Let's see. Eddie Brains and Eddie Braun. Ooh, balanced. And he's from the Society of Champions. We'll carry this when- one. When a, go ahead. When a freshly minted Air Force recruit found himself caught in a skirmish between Sparks, Aerobots, and the Society of Champions, his quick thinking ended up saving the day. With his arms and legs wounded in the battle, Dr. Stem created a set of energy wings for his arms and energy blades for his shoes, allowing him to cover both land and sky at absurd speeds. Together with his loyal greyhound Ezio, the small town kid that is the Nighthawk, scours the world for evildoers, always ready to dive back into action. Ezio? What? Okay, so Ezio. Ezio. Uh, apparently, Ezio is now here. That's why Assassin's Creed uh, is, has gone to Asia. Ezio migrated to this fictional superhero universe. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Yeah, how, how did Ubisoft manage to lose a character from a series? Not only that, they made Ezio a dog now. Alright, this particular thing is a mirror, and we can do some little uh, Mario 64 style um, faces. Yeah. Yeah, you can make better character animations than the animators. The left analog stick controls the the tilting of the head, and the right analog stick controls um, facial expressions. There's a total of four, depending on where you tilt the analog stick to. See? It's like, okay, fine. You're going to criticize our uh, character facial animations here? Make your bloody own. Well, this ge- th- well, this particular bit was made specifically for that purpose, so of course they're going to actually, you know, make sure it works, so... 
Oh, she looks adorable. <laughs> I love all in the background. Joel is just watching and yeah. Against <laughs> uh... the against the only bit that actually makes us uh, uh, sh shut up. Like we uh, like uh, we actually give a crap about this relationship. So it actually works. But again, this is it's one of those. Uh, but, but at the same time, it's one of those things where the only reason these bits work is because of our knowledge of the first game on their own. They're uh, they don't uh, again. This is just nostalgia. Like uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's pretend that we look have how evil she first... looks. That that I was having there. <laughs> Go ahead. You know, okay. I have to wonder: Would this game be better to someone who has not played the first game? Honestly, I would argue it would have been even worse because they have no reason to care about Joel being killed. So, yeah. And I'll, I'll say this though: if I hadn't played the first game, I probably would have still been having more fun in this chapter because, well, with the, a lot of the chapters in this, okay. As, if I hadn't played the first Last of Us game, okay. So as far as I know, this Abby girl wants to get revenge on Joel. Yet she still is rather stupid about going through with it. Not only that, but considering how this game portrays Joel's actions later on, yeah, Abby is still way worse off than him. Again, won't spoil, but let's just say uh, they're kind of going to retcon some of the events of Last of Us 1 to match up better with this. And let's just say, if anything, it, it's actually a better case for Joel, even though the writers were intending for it to make him look bad. Weird as that is. Let's see. I'll just say it again. Self defense. <laughs> not even a matter. Of, not even a matter of that. Like uh, there's. I don't know. Ooh, the Ovi Raptors. Don't you know, Jova? There's no such thing as self defense. Only cold blooded murder. That's the thing. Even even Ace Attorney grew out of that trend by like the second game at worst. And hell, even in the first game where a character did get charged for self-defense, the court still ascribed that it would be less severe than actual murder in the first degree. So, yeah, Ace Attorney has a better semblance of self-defense, and that's a case in a rather corrupt court system as it is. And it's a series <laughs> where you talk to parrots, whales... And ice cream. <laughs> and ghosts, courtesy of Dahlia... I know. I think it peaked at ice cream. <laughs> All right. Oh, 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 oh and look and at that. And it's a series that gets more obsessed with name puns. An actual well. Velociraptor cranium. That's how actually big the Velociraptors were. There you go. See. Which reminds me, I'm kind of when they get to the seventh game, I'm hoping they tone down those name puns because I swear almost every NPC. <laughs> in that game is, is named after I'm her. going to actively encourage that they continue. <laughs> well, Dibs, uh, don't do that. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't, I mean, it's just me, but I wouldn't want it. Well, Dibs, here's name the... Names are just too much fun to do. I don't know, Dibs, at this point, it's kind of key a key aspect of the, of the writing of the series. I mean, like, uh, it's a bit too late to now suddenly drop that. Like, I mean, it's something that even the original Japanese release yeah. has. Same thing. For, both Hino and Takumi are big fans of uh, puns. Uh, and you can see that uh, like uh, when these lo the localizations are just staying faithful to this. Uh, hey. I avoided it deliberately to when we get to it, but I probably, I, I think they should refrain from using names that fill up an entire text box on more than one occasion. So, oh, well, sure. like they get squished together into the box. <laughs> oh, sure. I wait till we get to Ace Attorney Six. There are no. Names I, I, I know. I know. It's. I, I know. It's there. Happened. I just haven't read what it was because I want the context. There you go. See now, both of us have a hat. Hey, a matching father-daughter duo. Why wasn't the game about them again? Because Neil hates us. I mean, well, I this guess. game is about hate. I get it. Mm. Moving on mm. to newer things, and you know, letting go of certain protagonists, that's fine. But they did Joel so dirty. And I get it, you know, in the semblance of things, as far as the characters know, he's just some other guy who had his death coming to him. Here's the thing again, though. Just because something is realistic doesn't mean it makes for a good narrative storytelling. Yeah. But nobody's upset that Joel d well, I mean, people are upset, but nobody's angry about that you know that's not what's bad what's bad is 
what they did to him leading up to it. Yeah. Like, character right. death in a universe like this is to be expected, you know? No matter who it is. But there don't goes. twist entire characters in order for that to work. Not helped by the fact that this scene feels like a teasing, a teasing of an actual full proper fleshed out sequel starring these two. Again, they could have done it like Red Dead Redemption 2 and have Joel die near the end of the game and then have like the last act be about Ellie contemplating revenge against Abby Ford. Could have been so much more effective that way, honestly. <laughs> uh, actual legit laughter from something that earned a laugh rather than you know being stupid amazing can you name all the planets <clears throat> my very educated mother just served us nice pizzas uh did you just have a stroke <laughs> Ah, interesting way to recite the planets. Like the, the like songs and wordplay is actually how a lot of learning was done in my school. Actually, yeah. so that's mine as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's one of the one, oh. it's one of the easiest ways children have of memorizing stuff. Yeah, good old Animaniacs educated me quite a bit. <laughs> I uh... I like how that song. We'll list every UK country except Wales. I don't understand. Well, I, well, actually, anyway, Shiroi, well, actually, Shiroi, um, Rob made an updated version. Animaniacs oh, okay. did get. I mean, Animaniacs did get broadcast around here, but um, I never watched it. Well, that's the thing, Shiroi. Well, that's the thing. Well, that's the thing, well, that's the thing Shiroi. When they, when the, in that song, they mentioned the United Kingdom, so you were technically included. It's just that they mentioned the the entire. No, kingdom. no, they they mentioned Ireland and Scotland. Oh, do they? Huh. Yes. Whatever. Um, so I guess Wales is the British equivalent of the Portugal. We don't count. Well, okay, sure, sure, sure. The the reason for that is because Ireland and Scotland hate being associated with the United Kingdom. Check out so the we... check out the check out the special animation here. Uh, after she's I'll look done, up uh, the newer one because uh, I've only seen the old the old song. Uh, look at the way Ali is looking at Joel in a moment after she's done talking. Hmm. -mm. What was that look? Um, mm. Weird. Um, oh, look at that an old car. So basically, this Thank is just old shit. Thank goodness there's no infected here to ruin the moment. Well, remember, Joel already knew this, so my guess is he found this. He probably got rid of all the infected, uh, and that's why now there's no, and, and uh, look. Ah, oh, this lonesome. Well, it wouldn't be the first time, ah, so. To that. And he was nice enough to clean up the corpses as well. Or maybe they yeah, just like how, or maybe they just weren't no like, affected here, period. So It's like how um it's like how the Fire Nation after massacring the air the air nomads decided to be very nice and clean up the air temple after themselves. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Look at that. Let's, In you go. Let's see what's inside. There's that fag comic I saw on uh, Reddit. <laughs> yeah. I sure hope we found all the bodies. <laughs> what the heck? Oh boy. Okay. Oh no. I've I've seen um I've seen first man the the one scene I remember from that film is a scene like this that ended really badly. Oh, yeah. the scene well, we already know that this scene doesn't end badly. So, have you seen that film too, Jova? Unless it's based off of oh, Apollo that. thirteen. All right, here's the actual proper birthday present. This tape. Oh my God! Cassette tapes live. Well, when you check what it is, what it is the recording of, it makes sense that it's on a tape. So, Let's see. Close your eyes. 
Oh, are we about to get a throwback to the last time she had to colorize in her uh, DLC? Well, it won't be an interactive sequence, but yeah, it is somewhat like that, yes. So yeah, it's a recording of an old uh, liftoff. Imagine going to space just to escape this infection. Now that I think about it, maybe this could have a crossover with Pluto Nash. No, where they establish a moon community to escape the infected. The, just to show the, the last thing Last of Us 2 needs is to have a funny comedy. You know, it kind of already has that at points, but still. I don't know, maybe Pluto Nash mixed with Last of Us 2 would actually multiply to make something good. I don't think so. I, I, I don't believe that. There you go, now we're in space. <sighs> there you go, see guys, close your eyes and pretend that you're playing a much better sequel. See, Let just it not be said that we never said anything positive about this game. See, see, there you go, see Shiroi, what you have to do is you just close your eyes and pretend that you're playing uh, a much better sequel. See? Just try and ignore all the money you spent on it. Well, I know what um, I know what I do if I were in this situation. What? I close my eyes and pretend I'm playing Persona Five Royal again. Yeah, that's a better kind of sort of sequel because it adds something that takes place after the main events that was in the vanilla version. Well, yeah, same but Chronicles Definitive Edition also added in a post-game arc of sorts. So, yeah. All right. Put it in our backpack, and there we go. Is it comfortable lying back with that gun in your back pocket? Well, it's kind of necessary because, you know, in the world. Oh, no, I get that, but I mean, dang, that can't be good for your bone structure. You get used to it, I guess. I don't know. Isn't it just a handgun? It's uh, a, yeah, 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 it's just a handgun, yeah. Just a pistol. Just gotta finagle it a little. Or oh. kick it, why not? <laughs> oh, there's more museum to this museum. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. Eh. Well, this place is big. I mean, it's but if not unreasonable never... to assume he didn't look at the whole area. But if Joel's never checked out that area, how do we know it's safe? It probably isn't safe. Get down here. Oh, don't worry. She'll give plenty of other people this much grief and then some to boot. I want a good splash. More exploring to do. Yo, Calvunga, I dare you. Okay, that's just as fine. <laughs> Wow, Joel is oh, an incredibly fast. Pretty quick swimmer. I know, right? <laughs> I didn't even see him get there. I think even Jaws will be jealous of that. All right, let's see what's behind here. But first, let's see here. I oh, know there's only just water here. This All is right. one of the most athletic visits to the museum ever. Well, of course it's locked. <laughs> Maybe we should turn back. Yeah, we can't chicken out now, Jova. Okay, Simba. <laughs> I 
Huh. Almost like they were trying to keep something out or something in. Exactly. <laughs> natural history muse. Oh, so so this is basically a museum of natural history. But of course. Or as Dr. Latrec would say, the Musée d'Histoire Naturelle. Um, wow, deer, a, deer oh, a moose being attacked by wolves. Yep. Fortunately, um, we were able to save the deer by freezing them in time. Oh, hold on. I killed, killed. I killed for them. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, 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 no, oh, yeah, no kidding. Quite <laughs> the hug they needed. <laughs> Ellie, are you sure this is safe? There's literal writing on the Buffalo. wall warning you. Or a bison rider. Buffalo bison tend to be similar. Oh, mountain lines. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> I'll be fine. The four soldiers at the gate. The last one cries. This is totally safe, right, guys? Okay. Next. Shit. Hmm. Let's see. The woman we tortured. I uh, choked on her own blood. Well, that sounds incredibly inviting. Oh, yeah. Totally. Yeah, come in. We've got blood parties. <laughs> Corpse parties. And there's another one here. Oh no, that's just the uh, okay. The stragglers who snuck into camp—they just wanted food. Hmm. This is like Chamber of Secrets shit. The kid who ran into the blast—I couldn't stop him. So apparently, this is some guy who's feeling guilty because of people being getting killed. See, they've killed women and children, many of whom are probably innocent. Let's probably keep on going. Oh yeah, this is interesting. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, there is no light. Oh boy. Yeah, that's the best tagline for this game. Th that's the best tagline for this game in general. There is no light. Yeah. Although... Anyway. Although, although I, I, I think I might have said this before, but having too much light would end up triggering the plot of Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbreakers, and that is not a good thing. We wanted to end suffering. We wanted to restore humanity. Each time we sacrificed part of ourselves, our leaders kept saying it will be worth it. Now we're disbanded. We've nothing. We've nothing to show for our sins. I thought coming here might reunite something, some purpose. My parents loved bringing me here. It's one of my earliest memories from before the outbreak, before all the cruelty and savagery. Those memories just made me angrier. I don't want to be in this world anymore. I can't look at the person I've become. So basically this guy belonged to some kind of faction that uh, basically they kept telling me it was all for good or good, but eventually got tired of and their bullshit, you know, where they kept killing people for a supposedly greater good, basically. Okay, I should, I should elaborate. Oh. When I say that's not a good <laughs> thing, I don't, mean, I don't mean the quality of the story. The quality of the story is really good. I just let the situation, our protagonists, whoever they are, find oh. yeah. Well, snap. A boar. So there you go. Turns out it was just a dumb boar that was making all that noise. An actual boar. I thought, I thought you were going to say the boar was writing all the stuff on the wall. But what faction did that guy belong to exactly? Ooh, liars. Oh, you found the safer way in, Christ. It's just some animal. Oh. The, the fireflies. Of course. Hey, guys, remember that group from the first game? Turns out they were possibly even worse than we imagined. Yeah, come Happy on now. Happy birthday! 
Now on the bad joke, Gustavo said to our lad. <laughs> Wasn't that a lovely birthday gift? Oh yes. Totally. Bad so yeah, so yeah, so like I said, it turns out. Oh the no, is... the plot. No, go away. Meanwhile, we, we were having watch. a we were having a good time. Go away, plot. We go were away. having a pleasant conversation. <laughs> okay, I'll just sum up things by saying. Remember, the fireflies were even worse than we imagined Jova, since they were killing innocent people. Jova, I don't care how superfluous it is. I don't want the plot to return. Okay, okay, okay. It's not just about how superfluous it is. It is remember that. Because supposedly Joel deserved to die for protecting Ivan. Again, I will not deny it should have been Ellie's choice. The problem is that the fireflies weren't given her that choice either. So everyone pretty much comes out of this looking bad. Then this game comes along and makes you realize, holy crap, the fireflies were even worse than we knew in the first game, which kind of makes you wonder. Maybe Joel's actions were actually justified. Again, the only kill that wasn't really justified was that of Marlene, who, you know, she was like the one person who actually meant any bout of sense here. And while she was going through with it, yes, she did beg Joel to let her live. Which, of course, he denied. True, but he also said that we would just come after her. Um, it, it's one of those cases where Joel just got completely emotional and wasn't even thinking straight. But anyway... Look, I'll say this. If Marlene's death was what actually motivated the plot of this game, that would have at least been and an meanings you're by. All right, let's get back to the plot, I guess. Uh, hey, Preggers. Hey. Still burp, still puking. How hot do I look right now? I mean, yeah, it kind of lasts for a while. I uh, think. you know what? I'm gonna ask you sh that question, Shiroi. How hot does Dina look right now? What do you? What? No, she 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 she, she just asked the, she just asked Ellie. Uh, how hot do I look right now? What do you think, Shiroi? How hot does she look right now? This guy. She looks exhausted. <laughs> also, that nose does not help. Just going to paraphrase Tio but yeah. the nose. But yeah, the point is, uh, Dean has been uh, listening to the radio in, uh, conversations, and she found out um, about uh, a place that where they can go to try to get some clues. There's nothing wrong with Dina's nose. Yeah, th that's the least of our problems. Oh yeah, it's the least of it. It's just, holy cow, that thing is huge. Yeah, I've seen bigger. Wait. BBC Two, but hang on, there isn't a BBC Six. Well, Six Music, but that's a radio station. That said, though, I just Dina looks fine, I guess. As fine as you can look in a game like this. Oh, there you go. She was. She's apologizing for for what she said yesterday. But at the same time, like I've said in that time, uh, at the same time, Dina should have told her up front right from the beginning that she had suspicions that she was pregnant. Because that's a bit too important. Not 100% sure. Okay, I so, you may not be ugly, but you are an idiot. This is seven. Twelve. Which I would argue is even worse. Yes. I guess it's somewhere in this neighborhood. Alright, so we're going to Hillcrest. Alright. I thought, I thought the title said some bit. I thought the title said something else. Oh boy! So, we finally have something to do plot-wise. Okay, I am not a, like I said before. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a specialist on this thing. But considering how early in stage the pregnancy is, and trust me, she's gonna get even worse than this. Would, and this game takes only place over the course of three days. Uh, so, all, even though she's like one month into pregnancy tops, uh, would would it, would it already by this stage she her be to feeling Wait. nauseous to this point where she can't even uh, and believe it or not, she that's, that's, a, that's the thing she wrote. By tomorrow, she can't, she won't be able to even walk. Because she's feeling that bad. Like, okay, only one month in and she, already she's feeling that? Again, I'm not a specialist on this matter, but 
I was under the impression that it took a bit longer into the pregnancy before she started getting Every to that point. Every woman is different. There is no right answer. I guess. I will... I think I get what Pedro's saying, though. It's like, oh, it feels awfully plot convenient. Oh, it, it is plot convenient, but to answer his actual question, it's different for every woman who goes through pregnancy. Sure, but sure. you are right. It, it is there just because of the narrative. Like, you're not neither So, of there you go, uh, Shiroi, like, because uh, no, I hope... So, but, well, Shiroi, uh, uh, you might as well voice your final thoughts on Dina, because from this point on, Dina basically drops from the story. Yeah, she'll, look, she'll have more scenes, don't get me wrong, but for the purposes of the story, she's pretty much done. I like, don't really care about Dina or even Ellie at this point. I just well, like, um, if you don't care about Ellie, then you don't care about half of this game. All right, so yeah, uh, unfortunately, everybody, the plot returned. So uh, sorry, fun time's over. Uh, more hijinks too, and so in the next. So part. so let's get back to more hijinks. See ya. See ya. See ya.